Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're looking to migrate your virtual machine to a new computer, you've come to the right place. Today, I'll walk you through the entire process step by step so you can seamlessly transfer your VM without losing any data. Let's get started. Before uh, moving your virtual machine, let's make sure your new computer is compatible. You'll need to check that the new system has the same or a newer version of your hypervisor that is VirtualBox, enough storage and RAM to support your virtual machine, any necessary extensions or settings such as virtualization support in BIOS. I will export the OPN Sense virtual machine and then import it into VirtualBox on another host running Windows. Let's export the virtual machine. To do so, open VirtualBox, go to the File menu and select Export Appliance. This will open a new window in the Virtual Machine section. Make sure you've selected the VM you want to export. Next, navigate to the Format C Settings section and click on it to proceed. Choose where to export the virtual machine and leave everything else at the default. Also, make sure the right manifest file option is checked. Click on Finish and the export process will begin. Once the export process is finished, go to the directory you selected for saving the exported files. There, you'll see a file with the OVA extension. This file is essentially a single archive that contains all the necessary components to deploy a pre-configured virtual machine. You can now copy this file to an external drive or transfer it to the new computer using your preferred method. I am now on the Windows machine. Now, let us import the virtual machine. Select the Import Appliance EM option from the File menu. Click the icon next to the File box to browse for the OVA file. Click on the Settings section. Here, you'll be able to review all the configurations that will be imported for the virtual machine. If any adjustments are needed, you can make them at this stage. When every, everything looks good, simply click Finish to confirm and complete the process. Once it's done, your VM should appear in the software's inventory, ready to power on. Let us try to power on the virtual machine. If you get this error, just restart the machine. After the computer restarts, you can try again. I have restarted the machine. Let me try running the VM again. <laughs> and that's it you've successfully migrated your virtual machine to a new computer. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.